I would like to define the hyperbolic trig functions. This is barely a calculus section. We'll list a few derivatives at the end, but it's good material to see if you're going to be a math major, and I'm not sure where else it would be taught. I'm not going to dive right into the definitions. Rather, I'd like to start by making the observation that as long as you're willing to work with complex numbers, the sine and the cosine can both be defined in terms of exponential function. We start by recalling Euler's formula. If we replace x with negative x in Euler's formula, we get that. The cosine is even, the sine is odd. Now, let's take these terms and add them together. This cosine plus this cosine is twice the cosine. Our positive and negative sine cancel out. Divide both sides by two, and we get an expression for the cosine in terms of imaginary exponentials. If instead of adding, we subtracted these terms, it would be the cosines that cancel out whereas the sine minus the negative sine is twice the sine. Do subtraction, division, sorry, and we get the sine written in terms of imaginary um, exponentials. Now that you've seen this and this, when you see the hyperbolic cosine and the hyperbolic sine, Hopefully the definition you're about to see will be a lot less arbitrary seeming. The hyperbolic cosine written like this and pronounced cosh is e to the x plus e to the negative x divided by two. In other words, the hyperbolic cosine is the cosine with the imaginary units deleted. And the hyperbolic sine cinch is the sine with the imaginary units deleted. Once we've defined the hyperbolic cosine and the hyperbolic sine, the other four hyperbolic trig functions are defined in the natural way. For example, the hyperbolic tangent is the hyperbolic sine. I keep forgetting to write the argument divided by the hyperbolic cosine. 
the hyperbolic secant, cotangent, and cosecant are also defined in the natural way.